I was younger, I'll never forget, I was in high school. You know, a dude I was cool with, you know, I bumped into in the hallway. And um, for some odd reason, we got on the conversation of, you know, you know, females, you know, girls, you know. And of course, you know, in high school, that's all you talk about. That's all you think about is, 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 is girls. You know, you get dressed up, you know, you get your shirt and your pants matching, all that sneakers to match. And, you know, the hat, you know, start a cap or whatever have you. They look good for the girls, you know. So we get in this conversation and he was like, you know, how many girls you slept with? At the time, I think it was like two, right? So this dude was like on number 15th already. He was like in 11th grade. So it's crazy. I'm sitting here listening to this guy, you know, <laughs> to school me on what it's, a, what, on, on, on how I supposed to be in order to call myself a man, knowing that in high school, we ain't even men yet. I mean, a real man takes care of responsibilities. What kind of responsibilities do you have in, in, in high school with, with the exception of getting good grades, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Your mother and your father, you know, um, basically pays the bills. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, I listen to them, you know, because, you know, I'm young and dumb. You know, that's synonymous. It goes synonymous with one another. It's young and dumb, straight up. So I'm listening to this dude, you know, school me on, you know, what it's like to be a man or whatever. And that's, what it, that's when the bullshit started. I'm not going to lie. That's when I went on my parade. And I, my priorities was all about pussy. That plain and simple. And throughout all these years, man, pussy has gotten me into trouble. You know what I mean? And what I realized about pussy is pussy is as, as a, addictive as marijuana, crack cocaine, you know, a big fat lady loving cake, you know, cake and shit, sweet sugar. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's addictive. Once you're hooked, you're hooked. And there's nothing wrong with getting you, you know, let me put this disclaimer out first, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be real. And I'm talking to the youth, specifically the young men. If you don't like my language, then I don't know what to tell you. Straight up, you on, a, you on the wrong channel. I'm telling you straight up, all right? So, it's nothing wrong with you getting a pussy, piece of pussy every now and then. I went with, I went to um school, high school, with a bunch of people that, guess what, graduated and went to college. And their priorities was 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 focused on what who and what they wanted to be in life in other words they prioritized themselves and yes true indeed here and there they got some pussy but it wasn't on their mind as much as it was on mine and if you fast forward it to for, for fast forward to to this day you guess what i'm not in a bad position but i'm telling you those those cats that went on to graduate you know what I'm saying? And got them a decent job. Some of them became entrepreneurs. Some of them picked up trades. Cause look, education, just because just you go to college, that doesn't mean that you're gonna be successful. There are a lot of people that are in debt, hundreds and thousands of dollars in debt because of college. Further extending your education. There are a lot of people on the unemployment line that have college degrees, but no job. You understand? So you don't necessarily have to go to college in order to be successful. You could pick up a trade, become a mechanic, a, 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 um, a plumber, an electrician. These motherfuckers get paid. You could become an entrepreneur, own your own business. But I know people like that. And they're successful because they they didn't their priorities were in the right place and not on a pussy. And look, look at my life. Look at my life now. I can't take, you know, my, my stories of the females that I of the females that I slept with to the bank and say, "Yo, can I get a loan?" Well, what what do you have, Mr. Langston? You talking about what kind of loan do you want? Well, you know, I was looking at this house. The house is two hundred thousand dollars. I got fifty thousand dollars on it. You know what I'm saying? As a deposit, but I need one hundred and fifty thousand more. Okay, Mr. Langston, you have proof of income. Oh yeah, I do. Do you have any type of assets? Anything you know outside of your proof of income? Because you know, if we need to, you know, extract the money a different kind of way, if, you, if you're you not able to make the payments, we want to do that. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me think about it. Now nah, the, 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 the car is I'm still making payments on that. So, eh. Damn, you know. Fuck. Oh, I know. I slept with this amount of women. They go look at me like, yo, man, get the hell out of here. Had I known all of this shit when I was younger. I want to listen to that fool. That fool that told me in order to be a man, you got to sleep with this amount of women. 
I would have said that you ain't nothing but a fool. And that at the end of the day, seriously, if I had a high school sweetheart, I would have married the broad. To slowly but surely build a legacy. And to grow together. And she would be my first everything. Some of you all, and it's no disrespect, you know, I, I, I don't want to give my business away, but you know, I, I know where you coming from. There's nothing wrong with dealing with a female, especially if she, she's your wife and she, she wasn't a virgin. You know what I'm saying? That's not the big nail breaker for me. Deal breaker. Yeah, deal breaker for me. But at the end of the day, man, if I had a choice, I would have much have rather dealt with a female that was a virgin. That it was a first with, with me and her for everything. And that's the thing. That a lot of dudes out here that I know or know of, they did it the right way and it worked out for them. Me, on the other hand, I had to be hard-headed. I had to go out there and chase after the women. The women that wasn't even really worth shit. Yeah, true indeed, they had big titties, big ass, you know what I'm saying? Suck a hell of a dick For real But outside of that Outside of the bedroom What did they have to bring to the table In other words what did they have to offer But that If that's the case Guess what I call you every Saturday night If that's all you're worth You could come through Literally come And then you gotta go But I spent time with these whores. And to a certain extent in my past, I even wiped up one for a little while. The bitch wasn't even worth it. Now that I'm older, I understand shit now. And my priorities, my goals, is success. That's what I'm focused on. And when you get older, I'm telling you, seriously, like back in the days when I was in my 20s, I was fucking like a rabbit. I ain't lying. This one board I fucked two weeks straight. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's optional. It's optional. It's an option. I get pussy. Uh, I don't. I don't. My main focal point is success. What am I going to leave behind my ch to my children? Oh, and an and overall legacy. How is the world going to remember me? That plain and simple. And if you all don't understand where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to tell you, I'm telling you, like, keep your fucking dick in your pants, man. Some of these women that are walking around, they won't give their pussy up to a man unless that man marries them. Why in the hell are you going around flinging your dick and sticking your dick into any and everybody? That don't make sense. I'm telling you, it ain't worth it because I did it. And look where the fuck I'm at now. But if you just focus on you and take care of what you have to do, buy your buy your, your home. You know what I'm saying? Buy your first home. Buy your first car. Make investments. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your money. So I'm not gonna say invest in stocks and this. Invest in something that's gonna generate money. Be sound financially, spiritually. Physically, get yourself in shape. These are the things that I'm doing now that I should have done when I was in my early 20s. But oh no, I was listening to, to stupid ass motherfuckers trying to tell me what a real man is. And they weren't a real man their damn selves. And when you listen to those type of motherfuckers, they get you into trouble, man. Straight up. You know, peer pressure. That's what it is. It's pressure that your peers put on you to, to force you to do something that you know ain't really right. I'm telling you, man. You young, you in college? I'm going to be real with you, man. If you got that right one, that so-called right one, right? Deal with it. Deal with her. 
If you got you a high school sweetheart, deal with her. Because it's nothing like growing with the woman. Aging with the woman. It's nothing like knowing that woman. And she was your first with everything. Well, I'm telling you, man, it, it, this shit ain't nothing. I've been with quite a few women and it's nothing, man. I'm telling you, these bros ain't worth shit. It's just not, man. They weren't worth shit in the 90s. They ain't worth shit now. But the real women have worth. Those are the ones that you want to shoot up the club. You, Those are the ones that you want to get pregnant. You fucking around, fucking around with this skeezer and shit. Yeah, I said it. That's some 90s shit. <laughs> skeezer. <laughs> you fucking around with this skeezer. You know what I'm saying? Some bitch that you swing over. You know what I'm saying? Late at night in the PJs, you only fucking with the lights turned off. You fuck around and get the bitch pregnant. <laughs> and that, that bitch have your baby. And the baby cock out it. <laughs> and then you got an ugly ass baby mama. <laughs> she looking like Cookie Monster. <laughs> you gonna pay that chance a pot? You don't want that. You don't want that type of shit in your life. You don't. You don't, bro. It ain't worth shit. You don't want that type of shit in your life. She was thick back in the days when you was banging that shit out. You know what I'm saying? One of them ugly ass broads, but she was thick as shit. Titties, ass. You know the PJ's broads got the juiciest pussies. It's, it's irresistible. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep this shit real as possible. I understand how you can slip up in the bitch. And shoot up the club with no silence on it, silence on a gun. I understand it. You grenade in the shit, AR-15. The 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 the, the Takashi 69 gun. I ain't never heard no gun go off like that. But yeah, man, I understand it. But you don't want that type of of bullshit in your life, my nigga. You don't. So make sure that you prioritize your life. And not. <sighs> prioritize pussy. Let me tell you something. Y'all can say what the fuck y'all want to say. Um, the longest I've ever lasted in having sex was probably about an hour and some change. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, I make sure my my broad, you know, she gets, she comes, she orgasms multiple times. That shit can last anywhere between 10 to about 45 minutes max. When you fucking over 45 minutes, get the fuck out of here. You ain't doing something right because that bitch should have been passed out. Straight up, that's my word. This is my experience is with chicks that I've dealt with. So stop it with, you know what I'm saying, having long sex and all. What I'm trying to explain to you is, I say about you, you work for a good 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes, and you shoot up the club while in the process of doing it. It's 20 minutes worth 20 years. I'm trying to get you to understand that. Do the math. 20 minutes worth 20 years. Sometimes longer because these kids, technically at 18 years old, they're adults. But normally these kids don't leave out of the house until they 21, 22. Is it worth it? Is it worth you dealing with a broad that you don't never want to fucking be with that all you wanted to do was bust a fucking nut in the first fucking place? Is it worth you dealing with this bitch and a kid that you never fucking wanted for over for them over 20 years. Is 20 minutes worth it with that bitch? No. No. But whatever you do in life, that's for you. It's worth it. If you go to college for four years, it's worth it. If you gotta go an extra two years. For the education, it's worth it. If you go into trade school and you gotta go there for two years, it's worth it. If you gotta wait eight years 
to 10 years because you're saving money to purchase your first home is worth it. If you got to drive around a beat up 1999 Honda Accord that go, got over 100,000 miles, you know what I'm saying, on it, and it's sunburned on the, um, the hood of the car, but it's yours, and five years from now, you get to purchase the Mercedes Benz, it's worth it. But not 20 minutes of pleasure that could fuck you up for the next 20 years. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying, man. Sometimes I really, truly believe that I'm not saying this shit. Like I'm just a vessel and it's just going, coming through me. Pause. For real, man. I ain't the one to be all deep and shit, but man, I be dropping some fucking jewels and you be a goddamn fool to not pick them shits up. Prioritize your life. And not the pussy. You'll be straight up. Take it from me. A great man. Or you'll become a great man if you're not one already. Other than that, my name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video.